Spider-Man is well known for a few things, like his wall crawling, his web slinging, and his awesome spider. But he wouldn't have developed these superpowers if it were not for a bite from a radioactive spider. First off, in order for a spider to be radioactive enough to alter the DNA of a human, it would have to produce ionizing radiation. It is called ionizing radiation because it knocks off electrons from atoms. These atoms then become charged and are then called ions. This type of radiation can also break chemical bonds and potentially alter your DNA to turn you into Spider-Man. The problem is that in order for a spider to be radioactive enough to alter your DNA, it would pretty much have to be a mini nuclear reactor and, you know, wouldn't be alive enough to bite you. So instead of a radioactive spider biting you, it would more likely be a spider that is carrying a retrovirus. This is because a retrovirus is capable of inserting its own set of genes into a host cell's genome. A good example of this is HIV also known as the human immunodeficiency virus. So theoretically, a random and highly improbable retrovirus could code for some spider-like genes and turn you into Spider-Man. In fact, scientists have already tried inserting the gene that codes for spider silk into an animal. So what animal have scientists secretly been turning into Spider-Man? Drum roll, please. It is a goat? So if we've already turned a goat into spider goat, then why can't we turn a human into Spider-Man? Well, it's because we don't quite know how to produce silk in humans yet. But scientists have done a cool experiment that involved spider silk and human skin. In the experiment, they shot a bullet at a piece of human skin that had a thin layer of spider silk underneath it. And what they found was that the thin layer of spider silk acted like a bulletproof vest and was successfully able to stop the bullet. This is because spider silk has a tensile strength similar to that of steel, which is 120 pounds per millimeter squared. The spider sense is another ability that Spider-Man has which alerts him of any nearby danger while giving him superhuman reflexes. Now this ability already exists in some organisms like flies, which seem to take pride in avoiding your fly swatter. But could you develop your own spider sense? Well, your brain has two modes of experiencing the world. The first of which is called rational, which is calm, slow, analytical, and lets you think things through. The second mode is called experiential, which is fast, automatic, and stimulated by emotions. For example, if an explosion were to happen close to you, your brain would go into experiential mode. And one really cool thing that happens in this mode is called the oddball effect. This is where, in moments of crisis, time seems to slow down. This is for two reasons, one of which is that your brain goes into a kind of hyperdrive, where it increases the amount of processed information to help you avert danger. The second reason is a process called chronostasis, where whenever you make an eye movement called a saccade, your perception of time slows down. So whenever your eyes quickly scan the entire area where the bomb went off in our example, they are actually changing your perception of time. Lastly, I know what you're asking, how am I able to climb this wall? Well, I'm actually not, but how could Spider-Man climb this wall? He would likely do this by using sete and setules, which are pretty much really, really small hairs. And by small, I mean like a few micrometers long. These hairs are so small that they are able to interact with the walls on a molecular scale. The interaction here is made possible by the van der Waals force, which is the sum of attractive forces from electrostatic charge. So when the charged hairs on Spider-Man's fingertips interact with the charged molecules on a wall, each individual hair acts as kind of like a tiny magnet, which lets Spider-Man climb the wall. In fact, scientists at Stanford University recently created a gecko-inspired hand grip to help you climb walls just like your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. So thank you for watching. Click here if you're awesome and click here if you want to watch another video. But remember, this one's for awesome people, so probably going to want to go with that one. And I will see you next time. Why are you still here? You haven't clicked on that yet. Go click on it. Jeez, it's right there. Come on! It's right there! Jeez. You know what? Goodbye.